Hey guys, so excuse the difference in audio quality in this intro. Uh, my microphone broke. Turns out Jeffrey Bezos sold me a uh, faulty product. Anyways, um, this video is going to be about a camera dolly and the steering mechanism that I used. And I hope you guys find it interesting. So yeah, let's get into it. So I don't want to waste too much time on this video because it's a very simple idea. The PDF instructions are in the description and there's also a 3D CAD file that you guys can download. And the only thing that really kind of distinguishes this design from others, I think, is that it just has Ackerman steering geometry. Now, in theory, that means it's going to roll a lot smoother on the ground and it's because it's done in such a way to reduce slip on the wheels. The ideal scenario is if the whole car is turning around a single point, then each of the wheels are going to have to be perpendicular to that point. So the axes are going to have to intersect that point. Now that means that the angles of each of the wheels when it's going into a turn, the front wheels in particular, um, they're going to have to be at different angles. There's going to have to be a slight toe out and this is a way of achieving that with still maintaining a, you know, a very simple steering column design. But, uh, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to cover that in this video. I didn't want to talk too much about it because I had all these ideas to go in depth with different aspects of how it kind of manifests in, in real life. And I, I just feel like that's too much for just a video about a camera dolly. Um, anyways, guys, tell me what you think about the design. I feel like there's no such thing as over-engineering in Lego. It's as long as, as long as the idea is present, I feel like that's more important. It's sometimes it's more of a representational thing. Um, you know, it's some, some of the things we do is for, uh, you know, for fun. It's kind of like, think about the, um, the fake engines that you see in loads of Lego sets. They do nothing. <laughs> They're just kind of there for show and to show the transmission works and stuff. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you want to see um, more stuff. I don't tend to make things as simple as this, but I think um, the channel is really just kind of centered around Lego. And for me, this is going to be useful because I'm going to use this to make little B-roll shots. And I thought other people might also find it useful. And, uh, and yeah, it also gives me an excuse to kind of discuss more kind of principles about vehicle dynamics and, you know, Ackerman in particular. Uh, now, I'd like to do a more detailed video on Ackerman, but it may not be particularly centered around Lego because the kind of things that come into it are a bit more um, complex, but I find them really interesting and I'm continuing to learn about it. So I don't know, this might be an offloading of that kind of education. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.